all human endeavors, whether it's life, family, career, business ventures, your friendships, your sports activities, all of them can be viewed through the lens of game theory. Everything we do as humans, consciously or not, are essentially games. We're all playing games. First realization you should have is wealth creation is a game. There are a few fundamental truths regarding wealth creation that are just hidden from, from us, from the masses, uh, from all the noise and distraction that is around us. I'm not going to get into that. Truth number one, ethical, true to yourself, sustainable wealth creation is possible. You don't have to take advantage of another human being to capture value for yourself. In fact, to create ethical wealth for yourself, you have to create wealth for others. Fact number two, wealth is not money. I repeat, wealth does not equal money. Money only represents credits of time exchanged by people. So you go to your job, they reward you for putting the hours and give you, here you go, here's some money, which is some credits of time that you can go into a store and buy a product that somebody else used their time to create. You're exchanging time. So it's an imaginary concept. Truth number three, wealth creation is not an isolated activity. It is not something you do, it is a skill. It is a skill that one can get good at, that you develop over time. It is a game. You can get good at games. Number four, wealth creation has a correlation with hard work, not a causation. In other words, hard work is crucial aspect of wealth creation, but it doesn't directly cause it. You got to know what to do, who you're going to do it with, and the timing, when to do it. Let's start with the what piece. You really have to figure out what is it unique to you, what is your specific knowledge, which is the term Navel uses in his book, link in the description below. Specific knowledge that you can give to the world, that the society needs. It has to be something that the people require and it has to be in an area where you can play the long-term game without burning out. It has to be your truth. We're all wired a certain way. It has to be something that calls out to you without it being destruct destructive for you. It, ideally, it's something that gives you joy, aligns with your DNA, with your upbringing, and it should feel like play while it would be work for others that are not wired like you. So to give you an example, to make it more real, personally, this very activity of seeking the truth, presenting ideas in a digestible, systematic, and hopefully entertaining uh, and inspiring way is what is play for me. Having fun on YouTube, sharing this with you and um, creating these videos for you. The, this activity in itself is rewarding. Sharing truth and knowledge, that would be my ideal profession, right? Like I would love to, be, to get paid for it. That has been part of my training in my day job as a business consultant. That, that is part of my upbringing. The Japanese have a term for this called ikigai. And if you aspire to uncover your ikigai by leaning into your specific knowledge, then my friend, you're going to be a wealthy and fulfilled samurai. So we talked about the specific knowledge portion of it. The second aspect is your conduct. You have to have accountability, integrity. You, you have to be a giving person. It's, it sounds counterintuitive. We, we're talking about piling some wealth for ourselves. But counterintuitively, you have to give. To be successful, you have to effectively collaborate with others. You have to have a reputation for somebody who's doing the right thing, who's being ethical, who's not afraid to share, to give without keeping a score. And interesting thing about life, about karma, 
even if you don't believe it, it is you do something long enough you get what's coming to you you will succeed or you will if if, if you're being selfish to somebody uh, to to people the world around you over time you will get what you you're putting out so to play the wealth game sustainably for the long haul you must give positively the the act of being accountable being trustworthy giving having an open heart all of that creates social credits for you and it results in opportunities for you that's the second aspect and lastly and this is an important one you need to deploy leverage to your benefit the concept of leverage just means being able to use resources to scale your venture to scale your your wealth and there are only three types of leverage that are out there uh, you got capital also known as money you got labor also known as people <laughs> and and finally products actual products that you can you can scale and as someone who is starting up you can most easily really leverage products and specifically types of products that can be easily replicated without cost those being code or media software you're able to copy it you can replicate it you're able to scale it very very easily and media being content books blogs videos podcasts etc to summarize the most important part of playing the wealth creation game is deciding what to do of course it requires you to use your specific knowledge to arrive at your ikigai and you have to have the mindset a growth mindset of accountability and generosity and you have to use the right leverage to scale your wealth that is the what now the who who you're going to get into bed with is extremely important as well so once you start your journey towards figuring out what is it that you want to do you need to collaborate with the right individuals wealth game it's a multiplayer sport it cannot be played solo unlike other activities that you do just as choosing your life partner is a paramount decision and nobody takes that lightly deciding who you collaborate in your life's work is arguably an even more nuanced choice it can either make or break your pursuit of wealth creation you want to seek out in terms of who you want to seek out traits you want to seek out people um, that have intelligence that have energy that have optimism that can complement you that bring focus to what is it that you're trying to do that multiply your efforts and above all they bring integrity you want to avoid it goes without saying but you want to avoid slippery ca characters and characters that that are doomers that that only look at negative things in life master ugwe in kung fu panda i love his quote i'm going to end with one often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it we got now the what and the who covered the when part is of course important timing matters everyone knows that market conditions have to be ripe the economy has to be right but the right time for you to get started is now you can be strategic and plan your moves but there is no better time to get going than right now there's no better time in the history of humanity to explore what is it that you're put on the earth for than today just think about it we have access to all of humanity at our fingerprints at our fingertips sorry like i got too too into it through social media we have uh, the collective knowledge that the humanity has put out through the internet the costs and barriers to self publishing your code if you're a software engineer or if you're if you're putting content out um, is essentially zero all of these things cost nothing 
there's nothing stopping you from playing, from being yourself other than yourself. All you got to do is travel inwards and determine your truth. What is your genuine passion? What only you with your unique background, upbringing, experiences can offer to the world? What is your specific knowledge that you can pursue? It, it, it cannot be something that is just trending in the market. Don't follow the hot trends. If you're, for example, if you're passionate about calligraphy because you grew up around calligraphers, um, it's, it's in your blood. Your parents were calligraphers. You always found it interesting. Uh, you know, this is, this is your calling. Uh, if, if pressing that ink in the, uh, in, in, in the paper is what makes you feel alive, then you know that is your calling. Don't go after um, the the AI chat GPT uh, version of things. No, nothing wrong with that. But my, my point is you got to productize another novel term, productize your, your talent and share it with the world using permissionless products. That is the key here. Do not be distracted by the world is chasing. There's always going to be a market for authenticity and no one can replace you at your true authentic self. It will not be easy. So the journey is going to be long. It's going to be arduous and it is non-linear. But, you know, personally, I feel I'm only getting started even though I'm almost 40 years old, like I said. The pursuit, however, it's the only fulfilling thing. It's the only sustainable way for, for you to grow when you're doing it for the right reasons. Never before in human history has every individual had the license and capacity to be themselves and productize themselves. In a, if you look at our history, you were given what profession you were um, going to be for the rest of your life. That is not the case today. We have the ability to market ourselves and there's going to be there's going to be an audience for that. So despite what the noise tells you, you live in the perfect time. You are imperfectly perfect and your time to play the best possible game, not just the wealth game, but the game of life is now. So there you have it. That's, that's all I can do for you. If you're not charged up now, I don't know what is going to get you going. Go, go get that wealth, go get that life. It's out there. So that's your tutorial on how to play the wealth game. And remember, now disclaimer, wealth can solve your money problems, but it does not stop the suffering. In Buddhism, if, if, if you believe uh, the teachings of uh, Siddharth, to exist is to suffer. And Navel in his also, book also eloquently stated that desire is a contract that you make with yourself to be unhappy until you get what you want. So desire for money, it's not going to uh, satisfy your soul because soul desires real things. Money is imaginary. Money is numbers. Numbers never end. Your desire will never end. Your unhappiness will never end if you're only pursuing the money. So with that in mind, with, with that uh, little bit of a reality check, I wish you good fortune and, and peace. The summary of everything we've discussed is um, is captured in the link below. And please reach out with your comments and feedback. That's all I got for you. Cheers.